Today it's time, my friends, as we give you the updated topping and biscuit guide here for finance your cookie because we got the magic candy and it is time with the biscuits as well. So thank you for tuning in. As always, if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. If you got a question, if you got a comment, certainly shoot them my way. On top of that, would love to see you in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. Now, down below, you'll find all great information in the details, plus our timestamps. We'll walk through Financer Cookie. We'll break down the biscuits. We'll talk about this particular cookie. We'll go through the magic candy and get through our toppings, pulling everything out and getting it ready for a run and back together again for you here today. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get into it here because you want to learn about the financier cookie. All right, a couple things about this cookie. This one was a great one when it was first released. It is still a great cookie and a great one for you both in PvP and PvE. Now, we'll talk about some of those reasons why. However, and ever, it is a uh, defense cookie, a frontliner. It's a really, really nice tank. Um, that can survive and keep your team alive, which is a couple of those main reasons. Now let's talk about the moveset here first with Paladin protect Protection to learn a little bit more about what I was speaking about. Here, like a true Paladin of unfaltering belief, Financier Cookie protects an ally cookie from the start of the battle until the moment she hits the ground. Financier Cookie's top priority is Clotted Cream Cookie, but if he is not present, she'll protect the allied cookie with the highest attack. On using her skill, Financier Cookie's regular attack will deal area damage. She will also heal herself. So we got a self healer. The cookie she is protecting increase their attack, damage, and crit resist and grant them the light shield. She will then deal area damage against her enemies. The light shield will act as a shield and deliver the light's judgment to those who dare to damage it when it disappears. While Financier Cookie is using her skill, she will briefly become resistant to interrupting effects. Here we have single hit damage at 408% light. So previously we didn't have that, now we have that elemental type. Um, HP healing at 84% of attack, 4 clotted cream, and then additionally 126% of attack. We also have damage resist there for 20%, crit resist for 20%, attack boost for 15%, or 15 seconds light shield 12.7 percent of cookies max hp for five seconds and lights judgment fixed damage of 50 percent of damage received by light shield as well so we have a very very nice plethora of skills here that helps keep and survive uh attack dealing cookies additionally for the specific clotted cream as well good buffs here in terms of resistance and attack boosting which also helps with survivability now when we get to our magic candy there's a couple things here um, first and foremost i certainly want to get mine up more um, we are missing some of these lovely strength crystals so time to do some farming um, and i recommend that as always you can check out our guides on those things um, here paladin's devotion is the magic candy the devoted paladin protects one of the cookies of the team increasing their damage resist crit resist and providing debuff immunity financier cookie will also heal the entire team's hp equal to proportion of her defense and increased damage resist don't forget that now paladin protection damage resist here at plus 30 percent crit resist at 35 paladin protection debuff immunity team healing heals hp equal to 20 percent roughly of defense healing capped at 15 percent of each of targets max hp so that's a pretty big heal and then de team damage resist plus 15 percent for 15 seconds only stacks up to one time now we also have here at attack 10 or at, at 10 all the way up to 30 we go from uh, damage and skill area 20 percent for 15 seconds stacks up at one time light type damage so these are very very important here why do these things matter we're going to talk about that um here in a second um first and foremost though let's get to our biscuits so in terms of our biscuit couple things here as always making sure that you have a legendary hard biscuit and max all the way up is going to be key mine keep getting swapped around for all the events that we're doing um because that's what i'm doing however that does not change anything here that you should focus on with your cookie now a couple things that you're going to notice is the scaling here is attack and hp don't forget it why am i bringing that up for a specific reason or your bonus effects and your sub stats so a couple things here 
First and foremost, we don't really need damage resist bypass on this cookie. You could use it because again, it's dealing that light type damage. However, not necessarily needed. Um, the one thing that you could consider here though, is you could consider cooldown. Um, just because if you wanna keep that additional shield up, even once it's used up, even if you're getting the procs off fast enough, which is roughly 15 seconds, that can be an idea there. However, what you do want to have on this cookie is certainly damage resist. Damage resist is going to give you tons and tons of survivability here. However, one more thing is this can be broken up against your toppings. So don't forget that. If you get a lot of damage resist there, you may want to back off on some of it um, and not focus on it here. If you do that, a couple things that you can consider. We saw defense here giving you more ability to heal your team. This is a little bit unique in terms of some of our cookies and gives you some focus there that is different. The other thing you could consider here is HP um, as well. If you just want a larger cookie with more health to survive. Um, all good things to consider with this one. Those are things that you can particularly stick to as well. Um, ideally, you're probably not going to put attack on there. Um, however, if you need to, I guess it's not terrible because it's not terrible. But the reality is, again, focusing on this unique piece of defense is really, really important. Again, getting that team damage resist up is big and that 15 seconds. So in this case, something a little bit different, something a little bit more unique relative to what we've seen. And then again, healing as a percent of attack. So that's the other reason why I said that. Again, we're getting some, oop, again, we're getting some of that already with the beast kit. Um, just things that you can consider in that space, which is why I also brought up attack. So really probably prioritize damage resist. Second, maybe defense, maybe a little bit of cooldown and attack in there. HP is always nice as well don't really need the damage resist bypass for this particular cookie. So all things to consider for that one there when it comes to the beast kits. Now, when we get to our toppings, a couple things about toppings here as always. We first and foremost always believe in resonant and radiant when it makes sense, um, finance your cookie. And I like to say that in case they haven't came out as well for your considerations. Um, finance your cookie is certainly a good one to do that with. Um, in terms of this particular cookie with some of the stuff that we talked about, damage resist is great. I highly recommend that. Um, sometimes you'll see this cooldown as well. That one's really, really nice. If you aren't using this as your primary defense cookie. So when this one is not that, and you're focused on more team healing, uh, cooldown for survivability with your damage dealers, go on this instead. So we like to give two ideas. If it's your primary one, go on damage resist. Now again, I bring this up because you may consider how you want to split between your beast kits um, between these two, certainly. So all good things. Now, if you go those routes, a couple of key pieces here when it comes to our bonus effects. Similar to before, you're going to want to prioritize probably damage resist here. Second, maybe defense again because that healing amplification. HP is nice, cooldown's nice, and attack's nice. <laughs> Those are all the things that you're going to want to consider in terms of your bonus effects here. Um, in terms of my case, um, in these ones, we got defense, we got damage resist, we got cooldown. That's a great one for us. Here we got attack, we got HP, crits worthless for us. HP, attack, damage resist, nice. Damage resist, attack, cooldown, nice. Cooldown, debuff, and crit. So not terrible. I'd say closer to like an eight, the better set that we've generally had with most of our cookies. Again, lots of tweaking, perfect things, those kinds of things. Now, again, when it comes to this set here, if you do want to go on cooldown, you want to do similar stuff, I'd probably prioritize damage resist on these ones <laughs> like that. Cooldown certainly helpful and HP and defense just to get a more what could be more squishy of a tank. Um, but again, that's kind of the strategy that you want to think about between these sets of toppings and your biscuits is depending on how you're running. All right. So that, my friends, is the breakdown of Financer Cookie, the Magic Candy, the moveset, the biscuits, and the toppings and considerations for you to make. Let's go into 829 here. Um, we just did Twizzly Gummy. You can always check that one out. However, today it is all about our friend Financier Cookie here. And she's going to take this whole thing down for us. If not, we're going to give it a shot and try anyway. So here we go, my friends. We are on the damage resist stack. Um, we should be able to get through this, ideally. We'll see. Look at that. 
squeezing right through. There you can see that the stacks on our opponents there for getting more light type damage in there as well. Now, one of the reasons why we brought that up, obviously it pairs with uh, uh, Clotted Cream. However, the big one there is also Creme Brulee. It's going to give you more damage with your Creme Brulee by having those pieces in there as well and for us to remember and those considerations. We should be able to get through this one challenge. We might run out of time. We'll see. Maybe not. There we go. A good hit. Good attack. Here we go. Lots of good damage there as we went through it. Damage down, crit up. Got all kinds of stuff attacked. There's the second stack. Now again, we're pretty quick already because of all my research and those things. It's nice to see the self-cast, maybe. Immune to interrupts. <coughs> Alright, we're on to the big baddie. You think we can do this in less than a minute? That's pretty good damage hit there. 200, I think we're good. Just need to get the cast off. And there it is, my friends. Look at that. Ripping through solo tank. Financier Cookie. She oh, is a beast. All right, my friends, we're going to pull it all back together for us here today in our episode. Topping guide, beast guide, everything that you want to know about Financier Cookie. The and Academy. very proud of her accomplishments in the Paladin Academy, and she should be. With that, thank you for tuning in. If you have a question, if you got a comment still, let me know. I'd love to hear from you as always. And on top of that, feel free to join us in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. Um, also, thank you, like I said, for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here, um, as always. And thank you to all of our members. Memberships are available to you. It's a nice way to support the channel, along with our affiliate links um, and our swag and merch store. All great ways to support, and thank you for that. Lastly, don't forget our socials. At me, chat me, my friends. Stay connected. Shout outs to those of you. Um, that wanted me to to get financier cookie together i listen i promise i hear you um and with that uh get out there use the paladin my friends keep on running this is a great cookie take care